Hi! Last month I presented in a video a build I did around the calling satellite case and based on various parts I had from my old main computer. I did state in that video that I was perfectly fine with reusing my old power supply. Actually I kind of have to withdraw that last statement. Not that the power supply was not performing or anything, it's just that the fan of that old power supply was incredibly loud and this did not sit with a build that is supposed to stay on 24 7. Yeah, so I decided to upgrade the power supply to something a little less loud and more modern and more modular and with higher efficiency. The Seasonic Prime Final Series seem interesting and I actually settled for the PX500 model. Let's have a look at it. It is a 500 watts power supply, it's completely fanless, 80 plus platinum, and it apparently has a 12 years warranty if I believe the box. Upon opening the box we get a few single use zip ties and some reusable zip ties to handle the cable management after installing the power supply. Of course we also get the prerequisite informative flyers, warranty flyer and such and a documentation, a user's manual that describes the various steps for changing a power supply within an ATX compatible computer. It is actually pretty box standard. Accessory and cable wise, we get a standard mains power cable, which is not adapted to my country, so I will have to change that. We also get a little tool that connects to the 24 pins header of the power supply and that allows it to stay on without having a motherboard connected to it. This actually can be very useful if ever I need to test the power rails for debugging. Of course we have the set of modular cables. First out of the box are a couple of cables to supply up to four SATA drives each and a Molux cable to supply up to three peripherals. Then wrapped separately we have another set of modular cables. This set contains the mandatory 24 pins main power cable in order to supply the motherboard and the system in general. We also get an elusive Molex to SATA converter cable and a set of cables to supply the CPU and a couple of PCI Express devices. Finally, last but not least, we have the power unit that comes with, within its own velvety pouch. Let me get through this unwrapping real quick here. As expected, no fan to be seen. And the casing features wide openings throughout on all the faces of the unit in order to ensure a good passive cooling. Installing it in the cooling case is pretty standard and easy. I'm pretty happy with the results actually. If I look at the before shot with the old power supply and its mess of wire, compared to the new setup with the Seasonic supply, well, it's pretty much less messy. And the noise level, well, it is night and day, I cannot hear the machine when it runs now. So after a job well done, it is now time to close the case and move on to the next pro Um, Well, not so fast. Do you see this big CPU cooler? I did also mention in the previous video that this cooler was too big if I wanted to install a couple of two and a half inches drive on the top of the case. And I still plan to do so. So I ordered this. It is the Noctua NHL9X65 low profile CPU cooler. It's only 65 millimeters high. Thing is now I have to disassemble and reassemble the computer fully if I want to swap the cooler. Well, well, let's get to it. Yeah. 
Yep, and as expected, there is much more clearance now. I can get to installing the drives. Ta-da! It all fits! Okay, so yeah, I closed the panel before trying the computer and obviously now the computer doesn't boot. Um, it looks like that I do have a CPU fan issue, so let me get that fixed real quick. The machine is now fully featured hardware-wise. I just need to get to installing Proxmox on it. And the virtual machines. One free NAS, one Ubuntu server. How about Nextcloud? Do I need a media server? And what about GitLab? And then I could also configure my own.